Dutch Library is going great and it's going well. We've got everyone turning out, just one or two not too keen to strike and they're at work, but I reckon we've got about 90% turnout. We just don't want compulsory redundancies, low pay, loss of uh, uh, overtime, uh, there's, there's a whole number of issues and people being forced to work in, in jobs they don't want to do, you know, different bandings. when people have that level of enthusiasm to put themselves forward, you know? It's about time we get uh, fair pay for the work we do. Unfortunately, the uh, department doesn't want to put up the money. Uh, they just keep on, keep on giving us uh, pay deals that ain't even in line with inflation. Uh, it's about time we get a proper debt pay deal, a decent pay deal for all, one and all, the workers at the bottom as well as the workers at the top, so we can go out and we can, get, uh, we can get things just like everybody else and live a normal life just like everybody else. About time we get paid above the poverty line. It means we have a pretty packed and people get very fired up and angry and they're disgusted that they've been waiting since August and they promised a cut and Gus O'Donnell's letter basically talks to us as if we're just human sewage. It says we should all be happy with our lot and that we're a fantastic employer in the DCA which explains why there's a 25% turnover in London because no one wants to stay and no one can be recruited. So. On the whole, people I think probably will be up for escalation on this site at least. Unless the department's willing to go back to the uh, negotiation table and negotiate a proper deal for the members, we're constantly going to be uh, out on strike. We'll take more than one day. Um, we'll arrange again to go out on strike again and we'll keep striking until we get a proper pay deal for the members. Pay civil service jobs! Support the strikers outside the court! Pay civil service jobs! Fight government cuts! Several members joined up today, so that's been very beneficial for us. Um, we've got about 611 members in central London, and uh, we've just had a 2.5% pay cut imposed on us, so there's a lot of anger as to uh, what's being done by the personnel director here. It's Middlesex County Court. Hello to everybody at the court. service and he wants us to do that for nothing and I think it's an absolute disgrace that he gets over £245,000 a year to do the crap job that he's doing. Fight the government attacks on our jobs, terms, conditions, services and pay. Support the PTS union today. I've been here since about 8 o'clock this morning and uh, it's been very positive. There's been a lot of people Fight coming to say things are going Fight well. We've been handing out leaflets. People have been taking them, looking at them. So I think there is some sympathy for what we're doing. We're actually being reorganised. Um, I suspect with about 20%, 30% cut in posts. Um, we're very unhappy about having to reapply for our own jobs. Um, we're very unhappy about the way the um, senior management, particularly the, uh, the person at the top, is um, dictating um, without consultation what's happening to our jobs. We've been very dedicated civil servants for many years. We've been doing a very good job and we don't understand why we're having to go through this reorganisation. The reports we're getting so far is it's been uh, fantastic support. Uh, we've had immigration staff walk out of Calais at midnight last night. We've got uh, 2,000 people on strike for the first time in a serious organised crime agency. Tax offices and benefit offices are hurt. We've got major court cases suspended today because of the industrial action. 
and the Welsh Assembly has had to cancel First Minister's questions because all our members are on strike in the Welsh Assembly. <laughs> nuggets from the press briefing. The first one says, is it true that we're spending £2.4 billion on consultants? Answer, yes it is. Quote, the government believes that consultants offer first class public services and often have the skills that public servants do not possess. How outrageous is that? On pay, is it true that you're expecting your own workforce to observe the 2% public sector pay cap? Answer, the government believes that keeping inflation down is its priority target, but we can report that the wages we pay in the civil service are competitive and allow us to recruit from the markets we wish to draw our staff from. What a disgraceful admission that 30,000 of its own workers on the national minimum wage, hundreds of thousands earning less than the average wage, and expect us to take below the rate of inflation apparently is acceptable in order to keep inflation down. Well, that's not acceptable to us, when at the same time we know the senior managers and top executives in the public service are having huge non-consolidated pay bonuses out of savings they have made in cutting our jobs. In the Learning and Skills Council, 600 vacancies, 2,000 jobs gone, the senior managers have had £12,500 pay bonuses when they ask us to accept below the rate of inflation. And if you didn't notice last week, reports from the City of London itself that £19 billion paid in bonuses to fat cats at a time when our low paid members are expected to accept the below the rate of inflation. So as the government says we should be talking, they are sacking our members. The government seeks to make another 50,000 cuts by 2008 and then a further 15% reduction across every government department from 2008 to 2011. After today, there is a two-week national ban on overtime that we want everybody to respect. It makes no sense to be on strike today and then work overtime and clear the backlog in the next few days and weeks. After the two-week national overtime ban, on the 23rd of February, which is TUC Work Your Hours Day, we are calling a national day of campaigning action where we're asking every branch and every workplace to do a variety of innovative campaigning methods to get our message across to the public that this campaign is ongoing. But critically, we are also going to launch later this month one thing that no other union in this country has ever done, which is the most hard-hitting political campaign designed to intervene in the local government elections in May, the Scottish parliamentary elections and the Welsh Assembly elections. And that campaign will be based on saying to our members, make your vote count. We will be asking every candidate from all the main parties where they stand on local issues, about the closure of their job centre, the closure of their tax office, privatisation, poverty pay, and we are going to publish to every member what the candidates say in answer to those questions in the run-up to those May elections. And our message today is we are not going away. We are fed up of being treated as the poor relations of the public sector and the British economy. Listen to your own workforce, because if you don't, we'll be back and back and back again, defending jobs, defending livelihoods, and defending public services. <laughs>